Hey everybody, it's the captain here. Um, <laughs> a, uh, an event has occurred where Bachelor Pad Economics has been banned or censored uh, from a library by a librarian. And um, I linked to it because I didn't, I didn't even think of it in terms of censorship or uh, being banned or anything like that. <clears throat> but I linked to this uh, place, awfulbooks.com or something like that, where they did a review and this is a bigotist, misogynist, blah, blah, blah. And in the comments section, it's like, oh, we should burn this book, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I, I truthfully didn't care. Uh, there's several reasons. Um, uh, one of which being, as I understand it from the librarian's perspective, you can't have everybody's book in the library. You just can't. Um, you got to choose. And someone, and, and someone has to choose. And I think uh, the librarians... Um, try to be as open-minded as their intellect and their ideology will allow them. Uh, but in this case, they just, it wasn't open-minded enough. And so they said, no, we're not going to do it. And, you know, frankly, I can understand that decision. Um, but still, that got other people in a big kerfuffle. I found it very, very entertaining and cute and kind of pat the librarian on the head. But people still got up and down. I mean, people were like, what, it got censored. He got, he got it was... Um, you know, people are telling him to burn his book. This is censorship. This is the lacking the freedom of speech. Well, hang on here for a second. Let me give you my approach and directly address this. It doesn't matter that a library, or all the libraries in the world for that matter, ban my book or refuse to have it in there. It doesn't matter if they claim they want to burn it. It really doesn't. You want to know why? <laughs> libraries are obsolete. Okay? Look, we all hated the big recording label companies screwing us over for $20 a CD and giving the, the artists, like, crap, you know, like maybe 2% of the cuts. We all hate the East Coast book publishing industry. We hate big uh, record labels. We hate big book industry because they would never let people, you know, oh, you're, you're not my cousin or nephew. We can't. And it was like that. That's what it was like on the East Coast. All right. And, uh, and you know, also with uh, television. Well, we're not going to, oh, you gotta, oh, to television, to movies, you got to, you got to kiss a lot of ass to get through here and sleep with a lot of producers in order to... Well, now we got this thing called the Internet. We got YouTube. We got Amazon. We got CreateSpace. We got all this stuff. And what the Internet has done is made these... I don't want to th throw librarians into the, the evil, despicable category of um, record labels and um, uh, big television and big radio and all that other stuff and big newspapers and all the other media... Uh, but it doesn't change the fact that they're obsolete. That it, this really doesn't matter. Now, here's the thing with libraries and librarians. Librarians are typically women, and they're typically leftists. Because, again, if you're going to go and study... There's a thing called library science. You're, you're basically a, a very informed secretary managing a building and knowing the Dewey Decimal System. So if you go into that library science, you're, you're tip, again, it's not a theory, it's a law... What you declare as your major tells everything everybody needs to know about you, whether you're a hard worker or a lazy bum. And if you're going to go into something easy like library and science or library science, you're telling the world, I want an easy cake government job in a nonprofit industry where the hard work isn't that hard. It isn't. It just isn't. Okay? This is not working at the Bakken oil fields. This is not threading pipe on, on, the, uh, on the drills uh, out, out in, um, in Williston. So it is no shock that the majority of librarians are leftist touchy-feely types and, and they get their government check and that's how it is. So there's always going to be a leftist bias against conservative, right-leaning, libertarian type books. But, again, it doesn't matter. You can still get the book. It's on Amazon. You can. It's great. Not, it's not going away. They cannot stop us. What is going away, though, are the libraries. This thing called PDF files, your Kindles, all that, libraries are very much obsolete. And if you look at them today, they're really only there to keep the library staff employed and to house bums in the inner city and then maybe serve as kind of like a community center or babysitting center for parents who got their kids during summer and don't know what to do with them. Right? It really isn't for the books anymore. So they have to change themselves. And you go into any library and you'll see they want you to sign in. So they can go to the county or the state and say, See, we had 200 people come in this year. That's almost one a day. Right? I don't think their time is limited, but it's certainly not a booming industry. Okay? 
they got to worry about, don't worry about me. Don't worry about my books. Don't worry about my sales. We're on the cutting edge. We're new. We're on the internet. We're truly free. We can write whatever we want, as, as despicable as it may be, or it may seem to other people. We, we're not going anywhere. Our, our future is bright. The people I have to worry about are the librarians. Those are the ones I have to worry about. So don't, you know, if this was, say, 40 years ago, yeah, you know, then that might be an issue because who are you to judge? You know, Lord knows they probably got a ton of Gloria Steinem books or, you know, man-hating books in there, but it, the point is moot. It, 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 there has been. This is like, this is like Epic Records getting upset that that guy, like the um, Gangman style dude, made millions of dollars on the internet with a video, and they did it. You know, it, it, they're gone. So, don't worry. Let them get all upset. Let them get all pissed off. Read the comments section, by the way. It's hilarious. But you know what? If you really want to get back at him, you really want to strike back at him, buy my book, or recommend it to other people if you already bought it or buy one of my other books if you don't want to buy that when you get another one whatever they just give it right back to them you know you want to fight the totalitarian well you're not really fighting because they're they're in an ineffective position they're librarians they have nothing um but if you just want to irk them yeah buy the book man you know write a good review about it i don't know so um anyway that's all we got just want to address that uh, yes technically it's censored but it doesn't really matter they're just librarians toodles